seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back Wait, out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, New Day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is Let's see that energy out yeah, there. Rock. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Oh, there we are. Let's see, I need, need some minute adjustments there. Hey, hello, folks. For I'm the one. The only I am a hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about a little Monday Night Raw. Um, I do apologize for this video getting out late. Um, what did I do? Yeah, I closed Monday. Tuesday, I cleaned the house. I actually organized all my fishing gear, too, which is freaking amazing. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I was busy. I'm always busy on my day off. I have days off. It's just, I don't know, it's just like housework day. Uh, today is Wednesday, so again, I already put my live stream up. Again, I did my live stream of NXT yesterday. Did my grocery shopping. Went to the banks. Got piles of money. For a red change, organize my fishing gear, clean up the house. Wow, I went to the gym. Wow, I did a lot. I'm a little bit behind. Almost where I was, I think, last week. Except for I had, except for I just said, screw the AEW video. Um, whoever does the highlights for AEW sucks at that. In fact, well, I'll save that little, little tidbit for the end. Yep, so I'm here to talk about some Monday Night Raw. Uh, so here, it starts off Nikki Cross. There's a promo. I hate her almost superhero gimmick. I really can't stand it. I think they're, they have butchered her as a character. Everything else, I don't know. It's just not good. Uh, Charlotte Flair came out, they did a promo. That's going to be the main event. You can see by my excitement level, you can see how excited I am about that. And then our opening match, I'll tell you what, this was good. The Sheamus versus Damien uh, Priest. Priest was good. He has such long legs, and he can get those legs up high. He has such amazing kicks. He's a big kick. And Sheamus, he's, he, he's no weak guy either. He's again, very reminiscent of the old Belfast brawler. You know, so he's strong too. Uh, Priest knocked the, um, the, the good back and forth. The little wrestling on the outside. Priest knocked the face guard off. Sheamus. Then there was a super slam by Damian Priest. I don't even. I, that's the only thing I could. I I I know what to call it. Um, that was a brawl, a trade of bro, a trade of blows. Then there was the um, lights out, the crossroads. You. Yeah. You feel like just one name for all, for the same wrestling move and just stick to that because it's so confusing. I'll say what this was a good match, solid cheeseburger match. Then we had kind of a rematch. We had AJ and Omos taking on the Viking Raiders again. And Omos is still the big guy. He's still the biggest guy in the ring. Um, I'm still amazed that. Ivar can do all the flips he does. When he's in the ring with AJ, those two really do complement each other. The fact that AJ is so agile, I Ivar is amazing. Um, Omos, again, just overpowers everyone. In this match, again, AJ was a small guy. He got beat up a lot by the Viking Raiders. And of course, Eric, well, actually, in the Viking Raiders, is kind of split 50-50. He gets beat up a lot. Once Omos gets in the ring, he just no-sells the way Giants should. That's good. And then I'll tell you what. AJ hit a 450, like a slingshot 450 off the ropes. I'm almost waiting to see AJ Styles do a spinal tap again. I really doubt that's happening. This is a fun match. It's kind of getting boring and repetitive. Again, if you're going to just have rematch after rematch after rematch, meh. Nah. I see this match again. It's definitely going down. Right now, I'll keep it as a hand, as a cheeseburger match.
It's so hard. To give AJ just a bad match. I mean, he could have a ham sandwich against the broom, really. Then we get uh, Drew McIntyre. That uh, comes in the ringside. Uh, Jinder Mahal comes out. Says they're going to face Veer. Has lawyers present. Um, you already know what's going to happen. Once the lawyer gets present, the lawyer's going to get destroyed. Uh, Drew. With the fast fist. Uh, Veer. He He's big, dude. I didn't realize how big he was. He's, he's no longer a Bollywood boy. He's a Bollywood man. Uh, but heavy stomps. Um, Drew. And he has a brutal clothesline. Uh, the problem is, Vera got the chair. Drew used the claymore. And because the chair was involved, the announce team got it right. The ring announcer got it wrong. Who knows what the ref says. You never hear the ref. But I think Veer won by disqualification. Very typically like a Van Daminator. But this is not an ECW match. This is a WWE match. You can't use the chair as an assist. Veer won by DQ. Again, they have all the... They just they really do need just to get an organized book and say, listen, these are the rules. I'm going to call it just like, well, right down the middle, just like Bill Alfonso used to do. But, yeah. Um, Match-wise, it was okay. A ham sandwich match. And then, of course, the lawyer's there, so he gets beat up. Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, so then this match, the next match was a women's match. Eva Marie and Dewdrop take on Natalia and Tamina. Uh, Dewdrop ta got tagged in fast once Eva Marie realized that Natty meant business. Um, Natty, something happened to her right leg. S something wasn't right because she tagged out early and stayed out. Tamina was in there. Uh, Dewdrop's in there. Uh, headlock. Uh, no Simone drop. Dewdrop's too big. Um, Dewdrop hit the crossbody. Uh, Tamina kicked out. And then Eva wanted to tag in. Got the cover. Two count. And then... <sighs> Alexa's doll came up. And granted, it was kind of funny. They had the doll make fun of all the Eva Lucian stuff. Um, you had the doll in front of like Porsches, Beaches... All that stuff. It's the it's the Lily Lucian, which I if I'm like Lily Putin, I'm like no Lily Lucian, and Lily Putin. That's that's an old literature reference. You youngsters have to read books like Gulliver's Travels to know that stuff. Yeah, or watch old school Disney cartoons. Uh, to me, and then just like super kicked. I think Dewdrop because Eva was kind of freaked out. Got the pinfall. A ham sandwich match. Then, oh crap. Someone from the medical staff, only because she was an older woman, literally was like tending to Natalia. I don't know what happened. Hopefully. It's something simple, like an ankle tweak, where, yeah, it hurts for, like, maybe she's off the air for, like, a week or two. It's not bad. If it's a knee thing, it's going to be some months, and that's never good. But maybe, hey, TJ Kid, get Natalia knocked up, please. You never know. Then we had Keith Lee versus Karen Cross. I put this was way too short because I think they started to get a little time crunch going. Maybe. No, that was that was AEW. AEW has to learn timing better. Yeah, um, this was a short match. It was Keith Lee. Oh, Baskin is glory. Versus Karen Cross. Um, Karen Cross tried to do a lot of uh, muscular moves to Keith to Keith Lee. 
Wasn't happening. Keith Lee is way too big. He's definitely no Jeff Hardy. Ali tosses Karrion Cross around. Outside. Outside. Cross did hit a great judo throw. I love it when I see those judo throws. Only because I know they're legit. Like, the other guy can like... It doesn't matter. If you get caught in a judo throw, you're, you're, you're just going. It doesn't matter. You don't have to make it look good or anything. So that's always nice to see. Cross... Um, through Keith Lee into the ring. Uh, Keith Lee breaks out his, his, his mean streak. Again, the headbutt, the pounce, all of Keith Lee's moves. Cross, um, uh, Karen Cross tried to go for the straight jacket. And I guess the way he does is the rear naked choke stuff really like holds his head. I guess that's one way to do it. It's really all the same. Um, and then, oh, the cross jacket in the ring. Keith Lee breaks up. Then, he, then, of course, he does his, his headbutt, his pounds. Um, cross hit a side toe suplex and the elbow to the back of the head. And that was it. Yeah, this match was a little too short. Left me wanting more. You know what? It was better. Then the Jeff Hardy match. Cheeseburger match. Then we had T-Bar and Mace. But this time they lost the mask. Which I guess is a good thing. Because those masks, that idea of the mask was getting kind of old. Uh, they faced Mansoor and Mustafa Ali. Uh, T-Bar is too strong for Ali. Can he just get <laughs> the just stomps on poor Ali? Tosses him from corner to corner. Uh, Mansoor got the hot tag, kind of held his own. Versus Mace. Mace got it in. That was okay. Ali, the diving DDT was great. Uh, Mace got caught in like an Okada roll. And T Bar and Mace, I put in a side note, they're like, The Road Warriors, we hate Cleveland. They came in like all the face paint, uh, leather jackets with oversized shoulders. Yeah. I still remember the Road Warriors. Road Warriors were never that bad. Never. Even when they were like biker Road Warriors. No. Um, so Mansoor and Mustafa Ali, they win. Mustafa Ali seems surprised. Seems happy. You know what? You really can't complain about this match. It was a solid match. It was good by both, by both teams. Cheeseburger match. And we had Bobby Lashley promo. Um, after, um with that, like Cedric Alexander calls out, "Hey, I want my shot." Shelton Benjamin shows up. So Bobby Lashley says, "Both of you are bums. I'm gonna beat both of you." So the next match we had Bobby Lashley. On you know, Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander at the same time. It's good to see that they're making Bobby Lashley strong for his match, which hopefully he beat. Oh, please. Please, WWE. Just have Goldberg lose. Goldberg doesn't need to win. The attraction is enough for us. Please have Goldberg lose. But yeah. Um, uh, not to this match. Shel uh, Shelton and Cedric, for the most part, they just double team Cedric. They just double team Lashley all the time. Uh, eventually, Lashley gets control, hits a Devastator on Cedric. Shelton Benjamin gets gets speared. Shelton also eats. Oh yeah, his that that suplex was great. Shelton gets jackhammered. Oh, still Goldberg's move. Cedric eats a Dominator. Just a, a testament of Bobby Lashley's strength. Bobby Lashley wins. A ham sandwich match, though. I'm, uh, no, I'm going to keep that match the same, actually. Yeah. This was a very middle-of-the-road show. It wasn't bad. Wasn't terrific either though, so that's why all these are like. I just realized they're all. I wrote down. I don't like cheeseburger, ham sandwich, almost every other one. Um, we had Matt Riddle versus 
John Morrison. Yeah, man. Johnny Mundo. Uh, great wrestling in BJJ. I was so impressed with this. Um, uh, Riddle got the leg lock in. A great uh, Johnny Mundo. Amazing drop kicks. He gets either so much elevation or he has such great timing and so precise with the drop kicks. Something I think he picked up in Lucha Underground. Uh, Riddle hit the Fisherman Buster. It wasn't a Fisherman Suplex. Fisherman Suplex, you go all the way back. This was a Fisherman Buster. That's so good. I do miss a Fisherman Buster. That <sighs> Any Buster or Driver needs to be, it. even the Power Bomb is, is being overused way too much, though. Power Bombs used to be the devastating finisher. I mean, just saying it took one Razor's Edge, which is like a delayed higher power bomb or you had the um jackknife power bomb of diesel where it just folds you in half i mean kevin owens had the sit up power bomb but every other person that uses a power bomb is just eh, it's another power bomb if i was a pro wrestler i'd have one finisher by the hobo choke anyone who tried to get out of it oh yeah it's, it's, it's called you're going to sleep buddy Unless like they, they call like shenanigans, like I put you in I, I put you in the hobo choke, you're taking a nap. <laughs> the promoter says this guy's gonna kick out of the pile driver giver. F that, that's not happening. Put him to sleep. I'll, I'll hit the pile driver, then you know what I'll do. Ah, time to take a nap, baby. That's right. Nice, tight guillotine. That's the end of the hobo choke. That's the end of that. And the headbutt to the balls first. Headbutt to the groin. After the pile driver. And then... And the hobo choke. This is what your promoter wants. This is what he's going to get. You're not kicking out of my pile driver. Um, but yeah. Again, the great drop kick. The fisherman buster looks so pretty, though. Then, outside, it was kind of funny because then a riddle kicked Miz, so, so, so Miz stuck on his back. That was kind of funny. And something, yeah, so that was good. Again, the good combo knee strikes and the, po and the power bomb knee. Again, riddle has great combos. Um, then Styles and Omos just shows up. Omos <laughs> takes Riddle's scooter, breaks probably the cheapest, easiest breakable pull apart area of the scooter across his knee. Um, Mundo hits, or I'm sorry, John Morrison hits the Midnight Drive, and then Starship Pain. Oh yes, John Morrison won cheeseburger match. And Matt Riddle's in the ring. Matt Riddle then eats a Styles Clash. Whatever he did to AJ Styles and Omos, bad idea. Um, so then, our truth comes out. He calls out Reginald. He wants his baby back. Uh, Reginald really doesn't do any moves. So like he just like flips. Literally every time our truth tried to do something, Reginald flipped through it. That would make our truth strike a pose. Um, so it was this flippy stuff and poses by our truth until Reginald hit like a um, until he threw his jet until he got his jacket tossed in his face. Um, our truth pushed him against the ropes. Uh, Reginald still did a blind flip. Then he did a flippy seated sense on onto our truth. Reginald wins the match. Um, then, of course, the loser locker room comes out. And I am so disappointed in you, Umberto Carrillo. You are not part of the loser locker room. You should not be part of the loser locker room. Demand to go back to NXT. And, like, feud or become the fourth member of Legado del Fantasma. Because you can be too sweet for life. With Legato del Fantasma and 
DJ Z and Raul Mendoza. And then the four of you can wear Lucha masks and just look absolutely amazing like you used to in Lucha Underground. Okay, I've, I've ranted and rated, rated but no. Okay. So yeah, this match, it actually wasn't bad. I was impressed with all the flippy stuff that Reggie could do. Ham yeah, sandwich match. Then we had Charlotte Flair versus Nikki Cross. Um, wow, I didn't realize how tall Charlotte Flair was. Um, I don't even think it's a wrestling boots because she's not. You can tell because she's like the, the normal soul. Like I know Alexa Cross's souls are like like this thick. But yeah, hers are not. And Nikki Cross is tiny looking. At least sh Charlotte Flair's shoulder, like like she could put her armpit right where the top turnbuckle is, and that's probably normal height. Nikki Cross like. She doesn't have to move her head far, just like, and she she still might miss the top turnbuckle. No, I think about it, but her head's literally at like the top of the turnbuckle. Charlotte kind of can lean. Yeah, it's about armpit right underneath her fixed um, mammary glands. Yeah. So yeah, so Charlotte, I didn't realize. Again, and then you see the height difference between Charlotte Flair and Nikki Cross. It's so weird. And for some reason, I don't know. It might just be WWE and NXT. A lot of these women, they're getting breast... I, think, I swear they're getting breast reductions. Or they're getting taped up somehow. But I remember Charlotte having... I remember Nikki Cross having boobies. It might be that she's all like wrapped up in that superhero outfit. That's, that outfit's still ridiculous. Here, what you say? I'll never accept Nikki Ash as a champion. I want crazy Nikki Glenn Cross back. From Sanity. I want Sanity Nikki back. But, probably never see that again. Though. That's terrible. But, uh, oh yeah, so then Nikki does the cross chops. After she gets beat up a little bit by Charlie Fleur. Charlie Fleur kind of mocks her a little bit. Nikki then the cradle and a roll up. Uh, Nikki Cross got tossed over the table. Uh, Charlotte then just begins to ragdoll poor, poor Nikki. So bad. Um, Nikki does the crossbody twice in the, in the bulldog. She went for it a third time, and the third time did not work for her, because then Charlotte just kind of rolled through. Kind of a roll-up victory. <sighs> it proved that Charlotte can win, and it might have been a fluke victory. I don't know. I just don't like the whole Nikki Ash thing. It's a ham sandwich of a match. And I will give credit where credit is due. There was a lot more wrestling on, on Raw than I expected. So I am very happy and pleased with that. Um, however, some of the wrestling is... Well, some of the, not so much the wrestling, but the story angles suck. So that's a whole other issue. So yeah, overall, yeah, it was a cheeseburger of a raw. So again, um, a little bit about this week. Again, I do apologize. I'm just behind and stuff next week. It's, no, yeah, probably going to be the same thing. So I actually have even more to do next week. Oh, also next week, you can check this guy out. Hobo Tom. I'm going to be up in Jacksonville. I'm going to see if I can look at my ticket Monday. I'll let you guys know if you can see me, the one, the only Hobo Tom at Daily Center. I'll probably be up in the Hobo section. I kind of know which seat I want. I'm in an aisle seat in the very back so I can look down and see all the action going on. Hopefully, there will be a wardrobe malfunction by either Thunder Rosa Allie. Or Allie. Yeah. Just so I can see something interesting on video. Something like the Carmella. Except for showing the front part. Or down there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can see me there. Again, if you want to say hi. Say, hey, I've, I've seen you. You're so screwed up. I hate your videos. I'll let you say that. And you'll get your own video shout out. Um, other than that, I'm going to be doing, I've had my two live streams up, my third live streams tomorrow. That'll be Impact Wrestling. 
Friday is going to be a review of SmackDown. I'm off Saturday. I'm off Sunday from wrestling. I have to work a lot, though, because it is tax-free weekend. Oh, please, God, don't show up to my store. My boss is so happy when we're, like, slow. We have not been slow recently. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, next week will be kind of a normal... Well, it might be a normal week. Actually, uh, Monday's going to be a review. Tuesday's going to be live stream. Wednesday's going to be postponed until I can put the video together of everything. Again, you, my audience, need your live content stuff. Thursday, not doing because I have to close. Friday's a review. Saturday, the next week. <laughs>